If you're an engineer, you might not have heard of emotional intelligence or EQ. I'm here to fix that. I think EQ is actually one of the most important things an engineer can have. I really think emotional intelligence is more important than your technical skills as you move up your technical organization. Because if you don't understand your emotions and the emotions of your group, you're not gonna be able to manage teams very well and you're not going to be able to really make a bigger impact. In my opinion, emotional intelligence is on the way to social intelligence, which is helping you build a better professional network. And it's been shown time and time again that the engineers with the strongest professional networks are the ones at the top who get the most done. So this is why you should care about your emotional intelligence and you should start working on it today. I'm not a big fan of calling EQ and SQ soft skills just because soft doesn't sound as good as hard. I, I don't know, not a big fan of calling them soft skills. I actually think they're incredibly important and they're things you can start working on literally right now. So EQ consists of four main parts. You have self-awareness, self-regulation, also called self-management, empathy, and motivation. If you can master these four things, you are going to be so much more productive because you're gonna have a much better handle on your emotions and you're going to be able to empathize with those around you. This is going to help you to grow a better professional network, which again, will help you to get more done. Getting more done and taking credit for getting more done and being well-liked in your organization is how you're going to get better raises as you go through your career. Building that professional network is going to help you to find novel ways to complete tasks, as well as avoid social or political pitfalls within your organization, and just in general, have a much better healthy attitude, being able to express yourself better at work and pay better attention to those around you. All these things sound really great to me. I know my mental health and emotional health has gotten considerably better now that I am actively working on increasing my emotional and social intelligence daily. I'm getting much better positive feedback from those around me at work, as well as being able to see people's problems as they're happening instead of hearing about it way down the track. If you don't start paying attention to your EQ now, you're going to be leaving something on the table. And you might not be seeing the thing you're leaving on the table for weeks or months or maybe even years. But down the track, you will realize that you've left something behind. And if you had just paid a bit more attention to yourself and those around you, you'd be much further ahead than you currently are. You should really care about increasing your emotional intelligence. I have a whole playlist that I'll drop up here specifically related to increasing your emotional intelligence that you should go pay attention to today. I know I personally have found my mental health and my attitude towards work and those around me to be so much better after I started paying better attention. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.